If you like Versace arrows from the brand Versace, and if you do not have the price or the budget to get this one, you can definitely blind buy Riff's Imperial Blue, okay? Now this is one of the best releases from Riff's. I've already covered like three to four fragrances from Riff's. They actually make great blends, good performance, good presentation, great quality for that price, okay? So don't misunderstand here. I wouldn't say the quality of this one is as good as Versace. No, there are slight differences. This is slightly better. But when you compare with the price, this is more worth, okay? Because this is priced around 1,200 to 1,300 or maybe slightly more. So stay tuned to watch in detail. What's up guys, this is Yasa. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasa's Fit Frag. And today I'm gonna to talk about another beautiful clone from the house of Riffs. And that is called Imperial Blue. I'll quickly do the presentation. This is how the presentation comes. Inside this is where you get the bottle. Okay, it sits inside here. Very nice presentation. This looks like made of tin. Okay, it's not really plastic, but made of tin. That sort of dabba, what do you say in India? Okay, and it's an order perform concentration made in UAE. It says Imperial Blue here, riffs and all the other manufacturing details. And you see the note breakdown here as well, which is something interesting. I haven't seen this before in riffs. I just saw this now, okay? Even when I tested it, I didn't pay attention to this because I generally don't care much about the presentation. Though I appreciate when brands really pay attention to the presentation plus the blend, okay? I always give First preference to the blend and then the presentation, but when both are done, it is definitely something that you need to appreciate. So the batch here is August 2021, okay, which is printed in black. The base is pretty plain. This top has this Riffs logo, okay. Now coming to the bottle, the thickness of glass is very, very thick, okay. That's something you need to appreciate in UAE brands because this sort of bottle you don't really see in cheap brands in India. I don't know how they make such thick glass for such budget price fragrances. Has this golden metal plate which says Imperial Blue and then Riff. And this nice golden cap. The sprayer is also very nice. Okay, no complaints. Goes fast and spreads slightly. It definitely sprays good. Okay, now coming to the fragrance. Now, if you remember my review on 30 fragrances from Paris Corner. I had placed one from Fragrance World as well because I thought Fragrance World is tied up with Paris Corner, but I was wrong. I recently got to know that Fragrance World is a completely different brand and they have their own manufacturing unit as well. And Best Temptation was another clone of Versace Eros back in the days, okay? And this is also very nicely interpreted, 80 to 85% close, guys. Very nicely interpreted. So that's from Fragrance World. This is not that easily available these days. Maybe they discontinued, I'm not really sure. Riffs has nailed it again. This is also 80 to 85% close, but I will still slightly push it a little ahead and say that 85 to 90% close because the quality is slightly better here. Or maybe it's the way you personally like it because this gives a slightly powdery feel this gives a more fruitier green apple feel so in case you do not know what exactly or how exactly versace aero smells this is a typical clubbing fragrance has a very prominent green apple and that minty note and in the base you would get vanilla and cedarwood okay so that's what this one smells like this is very close 80 to 85 percent it's just that the green apple and mint slightly gives a powdery feel but here you get a fruity green apple along with mint with less powdery feel. So that's how these two clones differentiate from the original Versace Eros. Now, if you like powdery fragrances, this might be your choice. But if you do not like that powdery sort of dry down, then this is your choice. Now, if you ask my opinion, if you already have this, I would not recommend this one because the differences between these two is very, very minimal. So if you have this, enjoy wearing this one because this is also very nicely interpreted and about 80 to 85 percent close but if you do not have either of this one then i would suggest that you go with this one because i personally 
like this slightly more than this one because it is less powdery and slightly more fruitier on the green apple so when i say fruitier it doesn't smell too fruity or jammy and too sweet nothing of that sort it's just that the powdery feel what i get in this temptation is lesser in this one and smells more fruity on the green apple and also on the mint so in the base as and when it dries down you will get a nice vanilla and cedar wood so beautiful fragrance for the price of 1200 to 1400 this is an absolute banger guys provided you like versace eros okay now if you ask my opinion eros is not my favorite from the versace series my favorite is dylan blue versace o fresh and versace poor home then comes eros okay but when it comes to women's choice for some reason women just go crazy on this one. i don't understand that okay because there's nothing surprising because everybody have their own taste and in general men and women have differences in taste for some reason women enjoy this one i like this one only when i smell it in the air and not when i smell directly okay doesn't mean that when i smell directly i hate it but compared to the other versace fragrance i would place this on the last but there are many people who love this one and especially women's reaction are better on this one from what i've seen okay in the air it smells really nice especially in the cooler weather i don't recommend this for the summers so in the cooler weather this smells is really attractive especially for women this also would do the same though i have not worn it outside till date i have just tested it so coming to the performance again the performance is more or less similar to this one two hours of projection eight to nine hours of lasting this also gives me the same so there is no difference in the lasting it's only the quality difference because this is more smoother compared to both the clones so that way the quality here is still slightly better but if you compare the price let's say this is around 4000 this is around 1500 to round it off you still get three bottles of this one okay so for that price value i would definitely recommend this one though if you have the budget you can still go with this one no problem at all but if you do not have the budget this is definitely a price value and worth fragrance if you like the blend of Versace Eros. Okay, so that's about it. Let me know in case you have tried this. Comment down in the comment section. See you next time soon. Keep sharing the videos. Cheers.